Hi, uh, Dr. Wayne again. I want to talk to you today about sleeping um, and postures that you should and should not be sleeping in. <clears throat> um, you definitely want to avoid sleeping on your stomach. Um, anytime you do that, you turn your head to the side for long hours or even 20 minutes at a time. The other side, it causes all kinds of problems. Typically, when people do that, they'll put their arm up and sleep in weird spots. I put some impingement up here in your um, brachial plexus area up in the shoulder where your neck and uh, thoracic spine sort of continue and so you want to make sure you stay out of these postures or your hands above your head um, anytime when you're sleeping like this on your side it's terrible um, so just avoid altogether as much as possible sleeping on your stomach um, no matter what on your back um, ideally you would have a three inch in diameter roll that you would lay at the top of your shoulders and lay back over it keeping, keeping your head in a posture where your neck is um, your your cervical curve is being helped or induced um, pillows of which cause you so many that your head's like this sleeping terrible for your neck cause will definitely cause major problems later in life if it's not numbness and tingling down your arms, pain, headaches, um, closes off your airway for your throat to breathe very well. So you just really want to stay out of that pot type of posture. When you put your head in flexion and you're sleeping, <clears throat> that will also cause your lower back to develop um, less of a lordotic curve down there. Um, so in an ideal world, you would sleep when you're on your back on the hardest surface possible with a three inch in diameter neck pillow to where it's only really supporting your neck everything else in your head is is back your head back of your head would almost be flat on the bed and then a two inch in diameter lower back pillow I know that doesn't make sense because lower back curve and all that but it is how it goes biomechanically that you want a two inch in diameter um, harder pillow underneath your lower back to help induce that lordosis if you're still having some issues with your lower back you should um, prop up underneath your knees um, some pillows just to keep kind of help with that curve and keep everything kind of relaxed so on your back that's kind of how you want to sleep um, as dark of a room as possible wearing an eye mask is absolutely a good idea because sometimes in the morning it gets light especially in the summertime um, as dark of a room as possible no um, noise maybe a fan for uh, white noise but the darker the room the darker everything is and um, the less noise will allow you to develop deep sleep help hormones to recover body to recover well um, if you work out quite often it'll really help you um, build up your testosterone and all these other types of things um, estrogen all these all these and cortisol to go down all these hormones that help um, for your for your following day if you're on your stomach I mean on your side you don't want your head like this and you don't want your head like this you want it to stay neutral so you want a pillow on your side that is from basically the outside of your shoulder to your ear so that your head stays neutral the whole time it isn't down or tilted up uh, you want a pillow in between your knees that keeps your knees hip width apart um, to keep you in that a body pillow is fine for that type of situation. You just don't want your knees to be knocked together because it causes then your kind of tilt like that and puts all kinds of pressure on whichever hip is up. Plus that internal rotation of your knee puts stress on your ACL. So you want to keep your knees this this neutral, um, neutral hips so that everything's kind of stable and strong. Um, so that when you sleep, again, everything's kind of relaxed and able to to heal and, and calm down for the next day. Um, really try to make sure that you follow these two rules as far as sleeping on your back and on your side and then keep your head neutral, your spine neutral so that you're feeling good and not, as some people do, wake up stiff and you know feeling terrible because they think they slept incorrectly which is possibly the way it goes. If you have any questions let me know. Dr. Wayne Sissel at yahoo.com um, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.